Hey guys, let's talk about Boogie and Magic the Gathering as a addiction. So Boogie has done a lot of things. The one thing he has not done is sell his Magic the Gathering collection. And it looks like he will refuse to continue, continue to refuse to sell said collection. So he rather fake his cancer for two years. And yeah, that's uh, a little crazy. He'd rather show a crypto coin again really wild then sell his magic the gathering collection which also could get him around the same amount of money and boogie is nothing but very intelligent about this people he wants to make himself look like an idiot sometimes but boogie is quite intelligent when it comes to separating your money from himself and uh, one example of this is the fake cancer he probably read it uh, maybe he made a mistake. I think the most obvious example of what probably happened was he got confused. There's one type that is Avera that is cancer. There's one type that's not. Probably got confused, tweeted something, couldn't really walk it back at that point in time because uh, he was receiving donations and money, right, for cancer. It's a lot, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's a lot easier to get money when you tell people you got cancer than if you just have increased red blood cells which is not cancer and that's probably what he, he saw he was like oh look look at the, all the money look at all the attention his as mentioned his cancer video got tons of views tons of support tons of donation he's seeing oh well if i have cancer i can get a lot of money so anyway that's probably what happened but at no point in time in the documentary with uh the caleb hammer individual he was on not once, but two different times, um, was it actually, you know, that he kind of decided not to sell his magic collection. It is a wild scenario that somebody this financially in debt, this financially in trouble, is refusing to sell their magic collection for whatever reason, right? Magic the Gathering is a two-edged sword it costs you a shit ton of money it costs you a lot of money to operate and at the same time in addition to costing you all that money it really isn't helping you make more money you know very few people make money from magic when you play a f m you know you're not going to really make money from that you can play an eda tournament you're not really going to make money you'd be much better working at a walmart and target um, one of my main criticisms with Boogie, right, is very simple. You live in a really nice home. You can downsize the home. You can easily do that. Um, you have a young girlfriend who's very expensive, who wants to go on vacations all the time. You can talk to her, you know, hey, this is our life. You know, our lifestyle is this. We can't really afford that. Uh, hopefully you accept me for who I am and I'm going to try to better myself. And uh, the health, I know people online get really upset when you tell someone who's overweight that they should get healthier, but it's not even about being overweight. It's just about everyone should be healthier, myself included. Um, there isn't a reason that people should not be healthier. And no, again, when you talk about the overall society, People do get offended when you call them out on things they don't want to be called out on. But Boogie has been well aware of this. So he would rather fake cancer. He would rather... Um, yeah, he would rather fake cancer than sell his magic cards. Which And then the problem with it is what you found in the documentary. That as soon as he sold his magic card, what did he use the money for? He used it for more magic and junk food. And that's magic the gathering a nutshell they made the game kind of addicting it's no no so symphony is not with magic the gathering anymore but they made the head of like the research of like philip morris which is the cigarette now they sell cigar cigarettes right and they do target children even though they say they don't target children but that's the you know it, it, it's a obvious thing it's a logical thing if your customers are literally dying once they get older of your product, then you do need to target them as young as possible because then you can milk as much money as of, it's no different than Magic the Gathering, honestly, with Bloomboro, right? You gotta target them young so then they continue to keep buying when they get older because at some point in time, they do pass away 
and that would be a disaster. So anyway, back to the issues at hand. Uh, Boogie is definitely an individual who is well known in the magic community. He is a individual who is um, definitely someone who, for the most part, um, begs for money. I don't think he has had a job in the last decade at least since he's been on YouTube, maybe 15 years. And therefore, all his money really comes from either AdSense or donations. And AdSense doesn't pay Boogie's channel anything. No one wants to advertise on Boogie's channel. His sponsorships are also probably way down. I would imagine not many people are looking forward to sponsoring Boogie anymore, especially after the fake cancer. So the faking cancer thing is just wild, right? But the, the other part of it is like, why doesn't he just quit magic? Why doesn't he just sell magic? Why doesn't he just get rid of his magic cards? Um, it is a ridiculous thing to continue on and on and on and not um, be able to. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, a, a sad, sad s scenario that's playing out. I don't know if you can get too much lower, especially on YouTube, right? He's got low before, but faking cancer for two years is really, really low. Why don't you just sell your magic collection, move on with your life, right? And then just you would have more time. You would have uh, to spend with your girlfriend and your dog. You would have uh, less money that you're spending. You know, these magic videos, again, many years ago was pretty good for him, but it's not anymore. It's obviously no one wants to watch his magic channel. It's just constantly begging for donations. And, and so on. And eventually, you know, these channels are just, I mean, they're just what value is Boogie really adding to society in general? I don't think it's a ton. So uh, my main takeaway from Boogie is quite easy. He, you know, this is what I see in a lot of people. Magic isn't good for everyone. <laughs> now, let me finally get to my conclusion. Magic is not necessarily good for every single human being to do. Uh, and what I mean that is if you're poor, you're desperate for money, you should not be playing Magic the Gathering. Unfortunately, you probably should be using your time. And I get, hey, you want to enjoy your time, you want to have fun, but you have to self-improve and then you make more money and then Magic becomes more sustainable. I saw a lot of people uh, in the area I live and they have to pay rent. Instead of paying rent, they buy a box of Magic cards hoping to double their money and it's never going to end that way otherwise the store owner would open the box of magic cards and not sell it to you sealed or he would charge more money for the box of magic cards right that's just how it works and then they open the box uh they pay let's say four hundred dollars for a box there's a hundred dollars of things that the owner would buy so then he'll lowball them to like you know twenty dollars and now they don't have rent and now they'd have to take a payday loan with a APR interest of 40%. Um, it truly is wild. It truly is a wild scenario that Boogie is still playing Magic even though he had to fake cancer to get donations. And that's how financially difficult, according to Boogie, the situation is. Anyway, hi guys. Let me know what you guys think.